So how to tell if it's time to spend the holidays with your partner. Ooh. Now, on today's podcast, Sissy and I are going to talk about some of the things to look into before you make that decision. So That's stay, right. tuned. stay tuned. Hey, Blissful friends, welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of the Massage Podcast. I am your host, Sissy, and I'm joined by my hubby. Hey everybody, this is Will, and we're glad to have you today. Uh, if this is your first time with us, please remember to subscribe and hit on that notification bell so we can notify you when these videos come out. This is a weekly podcast, and in this podcast, we talk about... Go ahead. Love and relationship and what to do during the holidays. Okay. That's it. All right, then. All right. So um, this is going to go into our blissful moments. So um, what's been good? The holidays are here. Yeah. My birthday month is here. No. Super excited. Not really. Yes. Uh, what's been good? You don't think I'm doing pretty good? Um, I feel good. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Yes. Yeah. You want to share with the audience why you've been feeling great? I, uh, I'm eating better mm. and too many people think that you eat more. No, I'm eating actually less, but different stuff. Yeah. And it's been, my body's been adjusting over the last couple of weeks. No more headaches, no more stomach growling, but mm-hmm. it's, it, it feels good. And thanks to my brother for kind of get me on this, this program. Yeah. I'm not doing it. And he's doing it by himself. So, brother, thank you for um, getting me in this program. There you go. <laughs> Kudos to you, brother-in-law. I'm only doing what I need to do. I'm doing my working out and eat healthy and drink water and do what I need to do. Okay? The the, the, the To me, I feel like it's the best way to, to be on a, like... <laughs> to lose weight, to eat healthy, as opposed to like not eating anything yeah. at all. But anyways, you know that's your I plan. Eat stuff. I'm what just saying this is your this is your stuff. You and your brother, you guys are a little crazy, but I'm just saying. But we're good people. Good people. But yeah, besides that, I think you know, like I said earlier, Christmas is like right around the corner. I cannot believe that it's already December. December. I just can't believe it. I'm sure I'm not the only one, and um, it's just insane. Like this is what happened when life be lifing, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm wearing my um, my. It's not a bathrobe. It's like something that I got from my mom. Like last Tuesday, I went I, I went there, and I felt like you know what, this is a good thing to have, especially the cold season is here. Why not? And it feels so I don't know how smooth. she wears this. It feels warm in here. <laughs> it feels so smooth. Listen, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like I said, the holiday is here, and it was raining earlier, too. Yeah. Like, all of a sudden, it was just, like, raining out, out of nowhere. It's blessing. It's a blessing. So now, anything you want to share with the audience? Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Nope. So tell the audience, baby. So what's the topic is? Well, it's how to tell if it's time to spend the holidays with your partner. Mm. How to tell. I, uh, did I spend, how long did it take for me to spend the holidays with your people? With my people? You mean yeah. like in my parents' house? Yes. Um, like together? <laughs> yes, kind of. <laughs> uh, like slip in? I've never <laughs> slipped at your parents' house. I wouldn't take that chance. I doubt I cut your head off. <laughs> Y'all don't Caribbean parents don't play. Yeah, but but um, I, I had I had it easy though because because they knew you. Church yes, and yes. My parents know you from church, yeah. and I've been to the house a couple of parties. You have been to my house. You've you've, you've taken pictures of my mom. Yeah, you do with my parents. So I had um, it, I had it easy. Yeah, but I would say maybe like after the third year, when we were dating. Mm, maybe. Yeah, because we did but, it for but, five but, years. And all it was easy. I didn't. I didn't have to break in. I didn't have to get uncomfortable because I was already good. Yes. Now, that's not always the case for many it's people, not. right? It's not. Now, if you've been dating someone for about a year, mm-hmm. maybe you're wondering whether you should ask them to spend the holidays with you or not. While the season can bring people together, right? Of course. I think that's the season where people, when you 
you, you, you get know, closer like to I each said, other. Said it's cozy, okay, cozy, and it's like you get that hot cocoa. Yeah. But let me say this: you bring your significant other to meet your family, although it gets you closer, but that can add extra stress, stress to your relationship. Yes, I know in our community, yeah, they'll yes. start asking. <laughs> when's the date they're so asking Sometimes you don't even bring the significant other <laughs> with you they're asking you yeah they do they put a lot of pressure on you and i think let's say if you the one that i'm dating and and my mom is like why don't you bring your date and then my mom would ever say that but <laughs> I'm she would saying, say it in her own way <laughs> when are you bring you know your 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 boyfriend over for dinner during the holiday like i feel like you probably would be scared would you feel like no, if she feel said it way? this way i wouldn't but her mom is the type that would say okay is this the person <laughs> um i know you guys been hanging out so i need to know i need to she know. would literally come out and say it like this yes and what i was what i was going at some people they're not comfortable to well, be yes. around the parents yet to be around friends and family. Well, listen, if I'm there to hang out, I, you you have some issues that I haven't uncovered yet. I don't want your parents asking me when am I gonna tie the knot or when's the big day or when am I gonna make a decision. I don't want these questions yet. Yeah, right. I gotta figure out who you are well, first. Yeah, and then I can get now. Hey, listen, if this is going to be your first holiday with the person that you are with. Mm-hmm. Just be ready for it. Just be ready. Right. Because she's going to ask. It, you never know which way it's going to go. Right. <laughs> so you, you you get you get to the home, wherever that it is that you go to. Things can happen. So be ready. So with the holiday around the corner, it's, it's about time to have that discussion. Yeah. You know, discussion around what's going to happen, where we're going to hang out. Mm hmm. Where are you going to take me or where am I going to take you? Right. Because it could right. go either way. It could be the guy that brings the the lady friend to his parents. Now, that's not usually the common thing guys do unless it's unless they know that it's. Yeah. It's the one. It's the right one. Yes. Right. The one, yes. We'll, we'll keep you at a distance until <laughs> we figure out. <laughs> I don't want that we did every holiday. Not that we were like around my parents or anything like that, but we would like have those house party that we'll go to, right? Like mm-hmm. we'll go to um, our friends' house parties and mm-hmm. we'll have Kudos a good to time. David. Remember those days? We'll have a good time. DJ, but, DJ Smooth Operator, yeah. But the question for me is that, is your relationship ready for, you know, for, for, for this move? If you're in the mm-hmm. first year... If you're like in the first year of dating someone, I truly feel like you're not ready to like go meet the parents or go visit their home. I, I Listen, it's just my opinion. Okay, some, some people would know that they're meant to be together from the day they see each other. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. some people. But but you you gotta think. Are you at the stage where you feel like you're ready for this? Now is your partner ready to meet your family? Yes, and the last thing I feel like you want to see is your grandma, your 92-year-old grandmother asking <laughs> the both of you, when are you getting ready? Well, when are you getting married? They want to make sure that they, they're still alive so they can see you get married. So <laughs> it, it's not the wrong question to ask. If I'm 92 and my child brings someone home or my grandchild brings someone home, I'm going to ask because I don't know if I'm going to see 93. Well, I just feel like I don't think... <laughs> You know, there's no new relationship. When you're dating someone like brand new, you don't want that pressure on this girl or this guy. Oh, that another dating. thing that I think I think older folks would do, they'll remind you our age, you know, how old you're getting and that, that it's coming close to that age. It's about time. It's about time. Yeah, you know, for guys, we, we don't we don't mind because <laughs> age makes no difference to us. I know. Uh, ladies. But it does to us. <laughs> it mm. does. It's some culture that, you have to get married at a certain age. And if you don't, I guess they find you somebody. <laughs> uh, I, I guess. Now, here's another thing that they, they would do. They'll tell you when they were your age, they already had children. Right. True. They were already doing their thing. Makes you feel like you're lagging. You know, you're behind. <laughs> well, I agree. But but I feel like grandma needs to know in this stage of age, people don't be 
pressure to get you married. Know, even People these don't days, want to. Even these days, from time to time, my mom reminds me when I was your age, I was doing this. <laughs> you know, and if. Actually, not too long ago, I found myself telling my sister, you know, when I was your age, I was Which doing was that. like 20 years ago? Yeah, it was 20 years ago, but when, when I was you, my sister's age, I was doing a whole lot of different. So sometimes the comment may come up. It's it, 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 There's no ill intent behind it. It's mm. just that <laughs> we want to state the obvious. When right. I was your age, right. I was already doing this. I haven't right used that when I was your age thing. I haven't used it. I'm not planning on using it. <laughs> Unless uh, it's you to might. my daughter. You just, you just haven't reached that age yet. Yeah. Listen, Who meeting with the parents is usually the hardest thing to do during the holidays. Yes. Right? Was it hard for your parents? No, but it's usually. Well, yeah, because you knew my parents. Yeah, I told yes. you I had it easy. You did. <laughs> so th- there's, there's the stress to impress. Mm. You know, if it's the first time you're meeting them, you want to Which can cause front, anxiety. Right? Well, yes. If you try, because, listen, if you haven't met the people. I think I had anxiety when I met your mom. And your dad. You had anxiety when you met my dad. Your dad. <laughs> mm. I had like anxiety. Yes. You know, you, you're trying to I put up stuff. I was scared. Well, I told you he didn't bite. Mm-mm. You were right about that. Right. So, so, but, but there's that. And, and sometimes you, you can't help it because you, you haven't met the people. Mm-hmm. And you know they're gonna judge you. You get that they're gonna think of different things about you. And some are bold enough they're gonna just say it in your face. Child, <laughs> so mentally listen. you gotta prepare yourself to deal with that. Especially if there's cultural differences in your family. Mm-hmm. You yeah. Know, if you're from different places, different level of education, different race, different ethnicity, you you can expect to deal with some issues. Yeah. Now some people are very understanding. They'll make comments, but mm-hmm. none of it is to cause an argument. It's just that they're stating the obvious. Right. Right. You know, where'd you go to school? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what degrees do you hold? Right. You know, all these things. Now, it can be a little bit overwhelming. Can be. A little bit? <laughs> Depends on who you are. It can a be overwhelming. A little bit. But, yeah. but, but, Speak for yourself, baby. But one thing that's important <laughs> is that if you're going to bring your partner over, you got to make sure that. It's something that both you and your partner are ready to do. Yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> it could be a an unusual holiday season. For yes. You. Yes. I And I think in our culture, meeting the parents is a big deal. Like if you're dating someone, like you can date that person for like a year or two, yeah. but never really like physically go to their house and meet their parents. But in our culture, if you meet this person's parent, if I meet your parents, like that we, means you're serious. We serious. Something is about to go down. You know, There's a you're, wedding you're, soon. You can't, gonna be you happening. can't walk away. In fact, yeah. I think you should meet the parents when you're ready to propose. <laughs> <laughs> Which you did get the in talk fact, from my dad. You should propose to the parents before, before you, you propose to the. No, I didn't do that. You didn't do that. No, no, did you do that though? No, I thought I you did when you went. Bye. No, I didn't. No? Okay. I did bring my parents over to introduce them to them, but th- I think that's after the fact. Yeah. No, I don't remember, but I think I brought my parents over after the fact. Yes, you did. Yeah. Yes, you did. I know, I know. I did, I did the, 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 the old things. You did yes. like the old school stuff. I'm old school. You are old school. You are yeah. an old soul. But anyways, yeah, I was. that's what I wanted to say earlier. Yeah, so uh, as we're saying... Um, Got to make sure your relationship is mature enough. And and maturity in a relationship has nothing to do with how long you've been dating. I know right. earlier you mentioned that if you've been dating someone for a year, maybe that's 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 too soon. But remember, many people, they know that you're going to be together. Sometimes after a month of getting together, they know that this is mm. my person. And some may take years to figure it out. Yeah. Right? So you can't technically measure... Maturity in a relationship based on the number of months a person's been. And this mm-hmm. is where it's important for them to have that relationship as to where are we? Right. How do you feel? Are you ready to meet my people? And this is what you can expect <laughs> <laughs> when you meet my people. And this is what you have to you have to be very upfront with your partner. Mm-hmm. I agree. If you, if you have people in your family are very direct. My mom, my cousin. You got it. Hey, you can expect this from my mom. So be, be ready to deal with it. This is where we are. Maybe rehearse it. No, I'll go that. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 when you come, but that's scary, though. Scary, but if you prep for it, you can deal with it. 
<laughs> now, now I'd say, you know, after, after you, you've had this talk about getting ready, when you're confident that, you know, the status of your relationship is where it needs to be. You probably going to stick around. You're not planning on running away the next, the next few days. You're willing to deal with any, mm-hmm. any, any toughness, any difficulties that may run into. Any consequences? Then <laughs> any consequences that may come. Now, 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 if, if, if you're ready, if you feel like, you know what, th- this is the person, mm-hmm. then, then you're ready to spend the holidays. You know, yeah. if not, that's okay. I think I think it's 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 completely valid to give yourself more time the time you need. Why? Why? Yeah. Before bringing someone over, and I'm pretty sure if you guys like you know talk it out among each other and you like, hey, listen, I really want you to meet my parents, but I feel like we just need more time. Yeah. And especially if things have, if we like have like some weird people in your family. <laughs> <laughs> More like unusual people in the family, <laughs> right? Yes, yes. So you kind of like, all right, babe, let's wait another year or two before, you know, we 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 do to we see the parents. Yeah. And, and you can okay. find and you can find if you can't do it no either, you can find some other occasions during the year that you could maybe a birthday, maybe someone's birthday, maybe some some other gathering that may happening. You can find some other reasons later. But I feel like sometimes. The holiday season may be like the best way because everybody's so joyful. <laughs> we, you know, there's a lot going on. So okay. I feel like, okay, let me just slide it right in. Mom, mm. dad, this is someone so I've been dating. And, uh, uh, well, you know, yes. Um, the right? holidays, you're right. The holidays could be because some people may not do the normal things that they would right. do. Right. Because they're in a different mood. <laughs> Or maybe Some they, people, maybe yeah. then maybe they're trying to impress someone else that they they, they may not be their their, their, their old self, the mm-hmm. normal self. Mm-hmm. So yeah, because during the holidays, some families they well us there's not that many of us. Actually, there are many of us. But anyway, some families are pretty big, which means people all over the country right. will get together. Right. So people would tend to behave themselves. <laughs> <laughs> So that may be, but, but if, but if it's okay, if you're not ready to meet mm-hmm. the parents this holiday, yeah, take your time, you'll find other occasions or maybe next holiday. Yeah. Next. Why no? It could take 12 months for you to figure out where you are. But just don't do it on the parents' birthday because you don't want that. The parents I feel like birthday. the parents' birthday, like, yeah, I know it's you mentioned, them, not you. yeah, I feel like you, I know you mentioned birthdays earlier. Maybe yeah. like, don't do it around your parents' birthday. It's like mom, dad, happy birthday, and he's my so and so. That's their birthday. That's the nah, birthday present. I, I don't bring think, you. Nah. Anyway, figure out what works for <laughs> your for your relationship for your significant other. And and the point I was, I want to make sure to make clear: if you're not ready, it's not a problem. It's just that. You there's a few things that you have to make sure that you it because like I said in our in, in our community once you meet the parents it's a big step it's official <laughs> and if you're not quite there <laughs> don't do it don't do it and I know there's people who probably been dating for like five years or so and the girls like all right am I meeting your parents this year yeah. are we like every year it's the same question. You know, and you, the dude, know how bad your parents are. Well, and you're if like, you've been dating the person for five years, I think, yes, I think. and especially let's think about if you are at a state, your parents mm-hmm. like in Florida, and you are in California, right? So, and you're dating this girl for like five years, and the girls, like, all right, it's time for us to meet the parents. I've been dating you for too long. But yet you want to hold back because of either your parents may not like her, but you like her. Either you think your parents may judge her because of the way your parents are. Well, Cause that happens. If you're facing that, if you're the man, you just have to man up. If that's the woman you love, mm-hmm. don't let your parents get in the way. Yes. If your parent meets that person and they don't like mm-hmm. that person you're or with. Or if you're the girl. But you feel that this person is your soulmate, then it becomes right. your decision. But you know how it is. We always want our parents' approval. Like, our, we want our parents' if, blessings. If you're in love with this person and this person is good for you, and only you can know that because parents is looking at things from the outside, right? Yes, but they parents know, you know, they know stuff too, baby. They, they know. may know stuff, <laughs> but listen, if I'm, if I've been dating someone for five years mm-hmm. 
And the only reason that uh, that 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 this person hasn't met my parents is because of my parents' way of viewing things. And the person has no problems at all. Mm-hmm. Then it shouldn't be the person's problem. It's mm-hmm. kind of like my parents' problem. Then I need to man up to bring this person to my parents and says, this is the person yeah. that I'm in love with, that I see myself with mm-hmm. for the rest of my lives. What do you give me your blessings? <laughs> I've made my decisions. So, yeah. yes, in prep that person, if you know your parents are probably not going to like that person, at least, I mean, you would have a reason why. Now, is there something wrong with the person? If there's something wrong with her, then you shouldn't be with that person, <laughs> right? But, but you just said if it's love, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But, but if you know your parents are not going to like this person, you got to at least know why. Because yeah. if you already made the, the assumption that your parents person. are not going to like this person... That's if I was dating you and you're like this bad boy and I have a thing for bad boy to like, okay, because I know what my parents like, what they don't like. And now okay. because we've been dating for this long and I'm afraid if I bring you over to my parents, they may not like you. But I really, 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 really like you <laughs> because because of your heart or what's on the inside. But do I do bad stuff? Yes. <laughs> okay, then, then you probably don't need to be with me then. <laughs> No, but then you have a good side. You have like this side of you that's like but very. Do I do bad stuff? Yes, you do. <laughs> then you don't need to be with me. <laughs> and and this is a, you gotta think of why with because if your parents will not like me because I do bad stuff. Maybe I love bad boy. But that's that's never gonna that's never that's never gonna work out for you long term because eventually I'm gonna do something bad that's gonna cost both of us. No, to be like in trouble. you would not do something bad to me, and you would not. But if get I'm doing bad stuff, get get us in trouble. Listen, there's always consequences <laughs> for doing bad. So if if I'm a bad boy and you love me because I'm a bad boy and I'm doing bad stuff, it's not like people sees me as being bad, but I'm not really bad. No, if you know that I am bad, <laughs> then in that case, you don't need to be with me, oh and your God. parents will be right. <laughs> and and you 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 bad at making decisions. They need to help you. Yes. I, for instance, if 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 if, if oh the woman God. if the woman I, I I love is a stripper, she's stripping and she's doing all these things and hanging out at all different bars, hanging out with all different men. And my parents don't like her because that's what she does. I probably have an issue. Because someone like this is not looking to settle down long term. And if my goal is to make a wife out of this person, my pants is already saying it. It's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. So I need to get my head together. <laughs> <laughs> make the right decision. So if, if, if your reasons would be because of what this person is doing, your pants. Now, sometimes people can see people the wrong way. They may, what they think you do may not be so. Yeah. If that's the case, then you need to enlighten those parents. But if, if, if they have... <laughs> Something against you for something you're currently doing, and you with the, I'm with this person. I know what you're doing is not welcome, and even I, I shouldn't even be. Then, <laughs> and I need to, I need to adjust the way that I think and make a different decision. So in that case, your parents will be right. Mm. So you know, your parents could have the reason. Now you, you have to make sure you, you see a future with this partner. The, you know, you mm-hmm. see yourself with this person long term. Mm-hmm. And it'll be impossible to make a wife out of a stripper. Well, that could be tough. I mean, you never know. That could be tough. I take it back. It may not be impossible, but it'll be a challenge. There Are go. you ready for this challenge, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, you know, you you, you got to see yourself being able to be with this person long term. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, during the holidays, it's always a good idea to bring someone with you, right? Because they're going to ask and it's good to have a partner. It's good to have someone to have your back, especially if you're the only person in the family that have not settled down. So it's good to bring someone with you. But yeah. the holiday season can have a way of making, you know, new relationship or sometime old relationship <laughs> Make them move faster than they actually should be moving. Mm-hmm. And you got to be ready for this. Because people would be making comments in parents. If they're like you, oh, they will they will buddy you up and get you ready for this. Well, if they yeah. don't like you, then just be ready to deal with those negative comments, <laughs> you know? Yes. Yes. And they need, they need you to have a partner to go yeah. to, you know, weddings with. Yeah. But, <laughs> but essentially, and this is where I go back to, make sure you can see yourself spending the future with this partner. Because right. anyone you're going to introduce to your parents or to your family, mm-hmm. you got to make sure that you see yourself 
with this person long term. If you're about to dump this person the next day, then no need to bring this person to meet your parents or your family. Yeah, because it's a pretty big deal. Yeah. So, hey, listen, spending the holiday with someone is a pretty big deal. That's right. Like she said. Yes, yes. So if you're not completely sure about them, asking them to come home with you will mislead them with your intentions. And, and, and that could work both ways. Say, yeah. for instance, I could be with you and I'm in love with you, but you, you kind of undecided, but you bring me home. <laughs> All you're telling me is that I'm in. Right. Which that may not have been your intention. Correct. You just need exactly. Some exactly. So <laughs> if you're not Make sure about sure someone. Make sure we're on the same page. Okay. So you're trying to say. Yes. If you're not sure about someone, don't ask them to come home. So yes. Make sure that you're on the same page about where your relationship is before you decided to go that route. Definitely agree. Because, listen, if you're just chilling and I'm in love with you, you bring me home to your family, mm -hmm. I'm probably going to propose to you the <laughs> next week, and I will be expecting a yes. <laughs> or I may be bold enough that I propose to you at the party. Because oh. if you say you're taking me to your parents or to meet your family, I'm thinking I'm in. So don't mislead your partner. <laughs> So re remember, spending the holiday together is generally an intimate activity, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It, it, it tells that person that you care about them and you intend to go further in that relationship. Right, right. So don't assume that it means the same thing to your partner as it is to you. Exactly. Exactly. Some people may see this as the next big step in their relationship, right? And others may see it as just one more thing that you do <laughs> together. So it's important to talk to your partner about your feelings and expectations. You can even open up a discussion about your family traditions mm -hmm. and some unspoken rules because some families have some unusual things. True. Because I know there's some parents, the moment you bring someone home, they're ready to marry you. Yes, so that's exactly why I, I truly feel like it's a big step. Like f to you, maybe like like you said earlier, maybe just a move, just like hey, let's yeah. go visit the family. Especially if you if you like used to visit the family, like from but previous. If you used to visit the family, then then you, you know, <laughs> it's no big deal. No, what I'm saying, like if you were dating someone else, then oh, you guys oh, oh. have been to that person's family's gathering or whatever. Then if you're like used to it, then that's different versus if it's like something where for the first time you're meeting someone's family, it's a big deal. It was a big deal to me, you know, so it is a big deal. Yeah. Now, as nice as it may be to spend the holiday with your partner, well, spend it together, but in your own place, it's important to consider your relationship and where you are in it at the moment. Is it ready for whatever step you want to take? And I want to say, if you feel like it's the right time, talk to your partner, right? Mm -hmm. Just make sure you guys have this open discussion with your partner where it can help you decide what's best for you, what's best for you for your relationship. Maybe not this year. Have this conversation. If you, Even though you know it's going to be tough, it's going to be hard. All right, babe, I know you want to meet my family. <laughs> But hold on. But hold on. <laughs> wait a minute. Okay. We're not, not doing yet. this yet. <laughs> We're going to have to wait until next year or a couple years from now. Right? And and there's a lot of people who are not in a rush to meet the family. And there's some people that are like, all right, I'm ready to meet them like yesterday. Listen, if someone's in love with you, they're ready to go. In fact, they're walking around with a ring in their pocket. <laughs> Yeah, true. Right. So, it, it, listen, wherever you, you are. No, 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 no. I'm not that way. Come on, baby. Oh, I was not that way. No. But, um, you know, wherever you are in your relationship, enjoy the holiday. Now, how you enjoy it would be you decide, right? If you're going to spend right. it at your family and your partner there, do so. Or just if you want to make up a lame excuse to say, I can't make it to the family gathering because you want to go away with your partner, then do that. Excuses. So, <laughs> yeah, why not? You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever it is that, 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 that you do this holiday season, mm -hmm. do it to help your relationship. Because sometimes right. taking some time away from all that stress could be a good thing. Mm-hmm. 
just like bringing that person to meet your family can be a good thing. But together you have to decide what type of thing it is for your relationship. So, you know, when you decide on that, then you do it. You'll have a good holiday. You'll have fun. And if you happen to run into some unusuality with your family, then you'll deal with it as well. Just don't break up. Break don't up. break up because <laughs> it's bad to break up during the holidays. So, guys, crash me on this podcast. I'm not gonna put. Yeah. Okay, then she's gonna talk about breaking up during the holiday on the next podcast. I'm not going to say much because <laughs> I don't like negativity. But anyway, so guys, we really appreciate okay. you joining us and sticking together with us as we discuss how how to tell if you're ready to spend time with your partner during the holidays. During the holidays. Mm-hmm. So, hey, listen. I want to wish all of you guys a uh, happy holidays. I know, you know, it's December. Before you know it, it's, it's New Year's. It's New Year's. So the holiday is right on the corner. It's so here. plan accordingly. Make sure you have your budget because you don't want to overspend during the holiday. So if you're going to meet the family, don't go and rent uh, an expensive car just so you can show them that you drive expensive <laughs> stuff. No. If you ride a bike, ride your bike to that dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so whatever you do, do it and, and enjoy yourself and have a good holiday. So yeah, please remember to share and like and subscribe and leave us some comments and click on the bell so you can be notified when these videos come out. We appreciate you guys. And we're going to wish you a happy holidays until the, 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 the new year gets here. So happy holidays to all of you. Yes. Happy holidays. See you.